All right, so we're gonna change the roller on the extruder end now as well. To do that, we're gonna remove the hot end assembly. I took off the shroud already. Right, so I'm going to loosen up the belt to remove it from the carriage. So whenever I move this carriage, I can kind of feel the wheels. It's not super even. All right, so from here, just want to go ahead and loosen up those two eight millimeter nuts from the back of the carriage assembly. You can hold it in place with a three millimeter Allen wrench. All right, so not sure why I didn't mention this during the video, but the wheel with the ex uh, ex uh, eccentric nut, just go ahead and tighten that all the way down. Again, don't over tighten. Leave the two top wheels loose, since you'll need them loose to slide it over the X gantry. And then once they're in position, you can go ahead and tighten them up. And um, after that, you just have to adjust your eccentric nut, make sure everything is tightened up in regards to the tightness but again don't over tighten it All right, finally managed to line the holes up. So now I'm gonna put the belt back on.
All right, so that's the extruder. Just gotta put the fan shroud back on in your set. That's actually nice, okay. So now we're gonna do the bed. Okay, so to do the bed, we're gonna remove the wheels, so just loosen them all the way. You will spin them that direction, this direction. You'll spin them that direction. Okay, then you can just simply lift this up. Don't lose those springs though. And um, don't get anything on the back, on the bottom side of the plate because that's where it has all the, the electronics. Make sure you put it on a flat surface. And if you can, put it like facing uh, upside down like that. That way you have, you don't make any like damage to the bottom of it. Cause a short, and there goes your bed. All right, so now we're gonna loosen up the belt. I'm gonna remove it from here. Just like that. To make it easier, I'm gonna remove this part right here so I can slide this whole thing off. Try not to lose this part. So now you can just slide this right out. Inspect the wheels. This one's actually don't look bad, but I'm gonna swap them out anyways. So we're gonna put spacer, wheel, nut. And you can just tighten these as you go. to figure out which orientation it went well, this way <coughs> okay 
just adjust the eccentric wheels real quick. So this is I am leaving them a little bit tighter, but I still want to be able to spin them around with my fingers. back on. I'm going to put these screws back in. Tension the belts. Okay, so that's it. Just make sure it doesn't like wiggle. Now let's grab the bed. The tricky part here is putting the springs back in place. Okay, just make sure all the springs are in before you go in the holes. Now we're going to add these. Remember, the orientation goes this way, and you spin it to your right to tighten down. Now what I like to do is sign them all the way and then loosen them about three turns. Okay, I'm just gonna put my fan back on. Turn it back on. And from here, you just want to trim your bed and then run, uh, uh, just make sure your Z offset's okay and then run a, a mesh. And you're pretty much all set. Just verify everything is tightened properly, but not too tight. And everything moves freely. All right, so that's the end of the video. Hopefully this helped a few people. I'm currently running some test prints and really dialing in the slicer settings for my filament. So stay tuned for more Ender 3v2 Neo content and future upgrades. Peace out.